Hello everybody, welcome back to Fallout 4. Nice. This lady needs to go down. Nice. Pam is going to be a problem. Their assault drone. Deacon is also going to be a problem just because of the pure amount of health he has. Deacon also got a minigun. Oh, he picked up the girl's minigun. Deacon, you are one smart man. It's too bad that we could not be on different terms here, Deacon. Is Pam not going to be any problem to us? Come on, grab some ammo here. What do I have for armor? Hold on. Inventory, apparel, helmet, chest piece. I have nothing on my one of my arms. On my left arm, I believe. Oh no, I do have something on my left arm. My right arm. Minigun. Nice. Where is it? Right arm. Is that it? It's just called leather right arm. Alright. Nice. Piper, I wish I can grab you something. How about an outfit? Hey. Say the word. Sure. Take a peek. No, she doesn't want it. Hey, Pam is still cool. You know what? I don't even know if I want to check if Pam is still cool. Oh, I didn't even leak like the leader. That's something I'm gonna regret. Nice. Half these guys I wasn't able to even loot. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, cool. Let's go, Piper. Oh, I was going to turn off the lights. Hey, at least we got a minigun on the bright side. That'll come in handy against the Brotherhood. Won't that. First aid. I think I grabbed that the first time through here.
So now we've dealt with the railroad. That's nice. Kind of just slaughtered them all in one area. <laughs> End of the line. Speak with father. Why is father all the way over here? That might just be a man-made marker. Don't know how that got there. Ooh, look at this missile launcher. That's pretty awesome. Four missiles at once. I need to find mini nukes. My chair makes farting noises. I'm gonna need to find a shop for mini nukes and mini gun ammo. Not really. It was tough. Yeah. I assure you that there was no other way. Their fanaticism wouldn't have allowed it. There is obviously one final threat the Institute faces. The Brotherhood. Whatever it is, we can handle it. I believe so. But in this case, what matters most is how we handle it. The Brotherhood of Steel covets technology and has made it clear that we cannot peacefully coexist. They will eventually come for us and attempt to take what we've spent so long creating. We need to destroy them before they can destroy us. Agreed. You're right. We take the fight to them. I'm glad you agree. But the problem with the Brotherhood of Steel goes beyond the edges of the Commonwealth. It's not enough to destroy them here. There are more of them out there in the world, Father. And they too will come for us. We can defeat them now, we can defeat them again, if we have to. Possibly, yes. But it would be smarter to put an end to it now. We will show them that if they interfere with us, the very technology they value so highly will be turned against them. We will teach them that we can appear at a moment's notice, wherever we please, and they cannot ever stop us. They will know better than to ever interfere with us again. You seem pretty convinced this will work. The Institute is nothing if not thorough. Dr. Lee should be expecting you in her lab. She can fill you in on the details. Time is of the essence. Airship down. Oh man, they're gonna have the big airship and they're gonna have the birds and all that and oh my god. The, the whatever they're called. Vertibirds. Although, I did say, make lots of weapons. So hopefully that they can give me some weapons. Because I think it's go it was going to be a choice between loads of reinforcement or loads of weapons. That's why I chose weapons. At last, we have power adequate to our needs. Dr. Lee. What can I do for you? Sean says it's time. Ah, that. Well, let's get to it. Dr. Orman, over here, please. It's time. What now? I'm still working over the code that the robotics sent over. The algorithm is a mess. It's not even close to peak efficiency. It would seem we've run out of time. Let's go. We're going to cover the basics of the operation as it stands now. Dr. Orman has done most of the prep work, so I'll let her explain. Okay, thanks. Is this really exciting, or is it just me? So, you know that the Brotherhood's main operation is at the airport, right? Yes. I'm aware of that, yes. Okay, good. If they were a little less intelligent, we wouldn't even be talking about this. 
We'd have just swarmed them with sins. But they're not idiots. They've managed to generate an EM field that's messing with our ability to relay in. Mm hmm. So we just relay onto the airship and sabotage it. Won't do us any good. There's no direct connection between their robot and the airship. So the immediate area around their encampment is a no go. They don't, however, have the entire airport covered. We can relay you into a point at the edge of the airport, and then you can get in and take down the generators. Okay. We'll have the element of surprise, if nothing else. Exactly. You'll have surprise on your side. Should give you some time before they can organize a real defense. For every generator you take down, it means we can start relaying in sins, giving you even more of an advantage. And... Oh! I almost forgot. Take these. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Grenades. Sure. I can always use grenades. No, no, they're not grenades. This thing, and I haven't come up with a good name for it yet, it basically deploys a beacon marker. Wherever they land, we can lock onto them and relay synths directly to that position. If there's a hot spot, you can drop synths right on it. We've only got a few of these, so put them to good use. The synth relay grenades? Okay, that's pretty good. I'm impressed. I know, right? I mean... Thanks. I thought it was neat. But still, it's just to help. Your real job will be to reach Liberty Prime. You know the deal with that, right? Liberty Prime? The big thing? It's the Brotherhood's giant robot. Right. They think it's their ultimate weapon. We're going to show them it's ours. Yes! We've taken everything we know, made a few modifications based on what we think they've done with it in the past ten years. And, this part was my idea, uploaded the whole thing into a modified synth, capable of delivering the virus directly into Liberty Prime. The little guy is going to be exposed and vulnerable. So you'll have to keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't get shot, you know? All right. With Liberty Prime on our side, that'll give us a hell of an advantage. He's not going to go stomping around, and he won't be taking orders. But he will have his weapons and targeting systems overridden. And he'll absolutely recognize their airship as the primary communist target in the Commonwealth. So your end goal is ultimately pretty simple. Get to the robot, then hold the position while the synth does his thing. Oh, and don't worry. We'll pull you out of there before everything explodes. If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. Otherwise, they'll be waiting for you in the relay room. Back up. What have I got for backup? Once the generators are down, we'll be able to throw everything we've got at them. And I do mean everything. All right. No questions. Let's do this. Very well. Good luck to you. So in this case, next episode is probably the end. Bye.